not just a marketing thing anymore. It's not just like, oh, what, what's the personal brand that I'm putting out on videos? You True. know, and that's why I'm so passionate about these topics is like your personal brand isn't your videos. Your personal brand is just who you, you are. Hi, I'm John Timmerman, and in high school, I was voted most likely to win a weird food eating contest. Hi, I'm Rob Schauger. There's no crying in baseball. Well, maybe except for this year. And I'm Al Kutri, and I'm bringing back the penny loafer. And we are the co-founders of the No Bull Company. <sighs> oh my gosh, today's episode is brought to you by melatonin as well as uh, nighty night sleepy time tea with uh, some kind of root in it. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Valerian? But anyway, I am exhausted and I cannot even keep my eyes open because I took like 17 melatonin um, and it's amazing. So thank you, melatonin. It's sleepy time, nighttime tea with Valerian Root. What's up, Noble Nation? Welcome to I'm a Little Buzzed. This is the show where we bring a ridiculous amount of life to business, all while sharing a glass or a bottle or a can of whatever makes us happy. Uh, while sharing stories about stuff that gets us buzzed. And we are coming to you live from inside, not really live, but we're coming to you from inside the Syracuse Studios. Syracuse is uh, Syracuse's newest co-working space, combining creativity, community, and comfort. Check them out, Syracuse.com. That was good. That was good, right? <laughs> I was like, is this for real right now? Did Man. you just let that come out with no nothing? I felt like my spirit just came oh, out of my that body. That was an out-of-body experience. And I just came back in. No teleprompter, no prep. Now the rest of the episode's gonna suck. Straight up pro. Use it all. That Anyways. Was unbelievable. No wonder why you're the marketing <laughs> god that you are. So, without further ado, now is the time when we cheers to life, love, lots of laughter. And a sampler Sundays at Costco, especially when they have little sausages on toothpicks. Oh, that's the best. Fellas, Rob, specifically, what's getting you buzzed right now? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I am super buzzed about the Noble Weekly News. Oh. If you've not seen the Noble Weekly News, tune in. Stepping up our content game. Sign up sir. via email on our website. Yep. Subscribe. That's how you do it, right? You go to our that website. Or, or uh, social media. We'll kick it out on social media posts. Oh, that's true, too. Yeah. 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 It's pretty it's good. good stuff. It's, it's cool. Cool. Way better than the crap you're seeing on CNN right now. I'm telling you right now. It's all the best headlines. Uh, Top headlines. In business. Cool yeah. shit you want to know. Tech. Great, yep. great branding. Good yep. stuff. It looks different than everything else. It does. I'm proud of it. I am. Yes. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be buzzed, too. I am buzzed. Yeah. What's getting you buzzed? Albert? Uh, lanyards and key fobs. Oh, yeah? Just yeah. now? Just now. Not back in 1990? No. Well, lanyards, I guess, not key fobs. No. I don't know. I'm just, I'm always, I love lanyards and key fobs. Are you going to try to key fob everything you have? Uh -huh. So, like, you know uh -huh. what you could do is you could get the tile. You know the tile? I have the tile. You could have your key fob for the studio, uh -huh. your car, uh -huh. and then have tiles for everything else. And just wear like a lanyard with like all my tiles, all like your the tiles, Mr. Key starter set, and I tiles. Key fobs, and you're like, I, yeah, what? Oh, you want to get it? Oh, let me get. I got. It. Yeah, I just, I just love <laughs> lanyards. If you should we get some noble lanyards? Uh, well, first of all, we're getting hundreds, thousands of them for our conference, oh, okay. and that's my job. I love them. Okay. Uh, I just, I don't know. Like, first of all, if you're wearing a lanyard, you can pretty much do anything and go anywhere you want. <laughs> Does it have to have anything connected to it? Yeah, I think it could be. It's got. <laughs> what do you mean? It, yeah, I it can't just be a you know with the hook. It's just a lanyard. Yeah, it's got to have a lanyard. Some, yeah, but a lanyard means when I say lanyard, yes, yeah, some sort of badge okay. that per, you know says who you are or something significant. Typically, it will say in my case, you know, VIP. This is a perfect example for our cartoon <laughs> idea from last episode, just, where right now in hanging. my head, I'm just picturing Al in a trench coat, like a like an old school Dick Tracy <laughs> trench coat, sunglasses, and like a hat, any yeah. any sort of hat. Instead Could be of just watches? 
could just be a, a brim and he's just walking really fast through like some really important red carpet thing. He's uh -huh. like, no, I'm okay. Got a lanyard, but it's just a lanyard. Nothing. There's nothing, else. nothing on it. It's just like a lanyard that says With a laminate. Or yeah. Laminate. I'm just a big, I love it. And that's it. So tiny things for me and lanyards. I collect lanyards of everything I've ever but gone to. I see them lanyards. Are they tiny lanyards? No, they're not tiny lanyards. Those don't permit you anywhere. You need a full size lanyard oh. to get into buildings and yeah. stuff. True. So that's what I'm passionate about. What about you, John? Uh, so I thought of this one um, today because I got a random newspaper uh, in the in the mail. Like somebody subscribed me to this newspaper. Sorry. And <laughs> I got it. Damn it, Al. <laughs> and I picked it up and I'm like, who's a newspaper? I haven't read a newspaper in uh, like a decade. Yeah. And I picked it up and I like started reading it. And I was like, this actually feels good to read. Oh. A newspaper. Oh, yeah? Like, I don't know. Do you guys get, like, the New York Times or any no. of that sort of shit? I like, get nothing on it. I listen to I the, uh, Wall Street it, Journal on yeah. Amazon. I I got, like, a weird, nostalgic, maybe just, like, good feeling. And I, re I like, flipped it. I, like, read. Like, you should put on it, your I, smoking jacket and a pipe? Yeah, it felt good. Like, the pages felt good and my fingers, oh, like, wow. I felt like I jumped forward, like, 50 years and all of a sudden. I'm so like, what did you learn from I'm the paper dad. today? Nothing. I didn't really read it, read it. I just, just like felt it. it, looked through it, <laughs> and, and just I touched just, it. I was like, "This feels good to feel like I'm reading the yeah. paper." Did you do? Did you do the? <laughs> did you do like the, the shake? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to because otherwise the folds. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, did you do it? I mean, that sounds like I was just cocking a gun. Did you like, go this? You go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. No. no. Oh, I should. But I did shake it. Nobody touched me. I just licked my finger. I, 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 right. We're the same thing. Well, that's great. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe reason. we'll put Noble News in a real hard copy paper that's next week. That's an interesting idea. It's different. It is. It's different. It, uh, Jeff Bezos bought the Wall Street Journal. Great. Recently? No, it was like five years ago. Oh. But it was a newspaper. I don't know. Anyways, so I'm buzzed apparently about Sweet. newspapers. What are we talking about today? Hey, Buzz Nation, are you a Gary Vaynerchuk fan? How about David Meltzer? How about Shea Robottom, Constant Schwartz Marini, and more? That's right, Noble 2020 2.0 is coming up April 8th, 2021. Do you want a free ticket? I know how you can get one. Head over to empathywines.com and buy any 12 bottles of delicious empathy, rosé, white, the red, and use the code Noble 2020 at checkout and you will get a free $250 front section seating ticket to watch Gary, to watch Shay, and to watch all the amazing speakers April 8th. Head over to noble2020.com for more info and we'll see you there. Today's show is on your personal brand is everything in business. So uh, last solo show, we talked a lot about overcoming insecurities to like show and display your personal brand. But the start of it, yeah. Uh, you know, people forget that your personal brand is literally everything. Like mm -hmm. from the way you interact to people, mm -hmm. the way you hire people, the way you lead people, the way you work for people. Like, yeah. Everything. Like that is, this has nothing to do with starting a business or entrepreneur. Like if you work for a company. Or don't. Or don't. <laughs> like like your personal brand is yeah. like very important. Yeah. So I think it's, I think, you know, not to dive into what my, you know, input is into this conversation, but it's like people really need to think about their how actions. they're treating people mm -hmm. in a much, much greater much way bigger than way. maybe they have in order to find that success, that success they want. Because and if one, you treat people, you know, what are the golden rule, you know, all of the wow. sayings, you should have waited for that sound effect. Really, like held it up to it's the mic. Psst. Psst. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got you. You got me? Yeah. Thanks, I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you remember Zima? Wasn't it yes. Zima? Oh, yeah. Zima? <laughs> yep. Wasn't that the commercial? It was like psst. Oh. I don't know. I feel like that was every uh, commercial for carbonated anything. anything. Carbonated. I'm pretty. Yeah. I don't know. Pepsi did a nice. One. Anyway, let's side note. I want to know what happened to Zima. I think it's still out there, actually. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Low volume. It's making a comeback. That's a that's a nostalgic thing that I bet you they could bring back in a funny way and yeah and crush it. Yeah, give, crush it. Give White Claw a run for their money. Right. Easy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs>
Easy. Striking else chords now. Dang. <laughs> no, laws when you're drinking claws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try on 75. You never heard of no, no. laws when you're drinking claws? No. Oh my god, that's great. So don't talk about the knee pop or yeah, don't talk white about claws the knee pop or white claws. Or else Rob and Al will come after <laughs> Go you. Go cuffs. So personal brand. Um, personal brand is nothing more than like what people think of you, like you, what you put out into the world, the juju, the the good, the bad, the ugly, like whatever, the honesty, the mm -hmm. lack of honesty. I mean, all of that is your personal brand. And I think it's inc it's increasingly important because it's something people are paying more and more attention to. Like, it's no longer acceptable to be Steve Jobs. So if you guys don't know Steve Jobs, like, Steve, you know who he is, but he was very, like, people that worked for him will tell you, like, he was an asshole. Like, he was I did not, not know that. Look it up. Like, okay. it's it's widely covered it's at this point. Kind of like what ha what's happening to Alan right now. So, I... I've been meaning to look that up, but I haven't really seen it. I don't it, know so. if it's true or not. But. Yeah. But Steve Jobs, like historically, he was he would like blow up on people oh, and really? treat them like dog uh, shit. And like this is coming from previous employees, this is coming from contacts. Mm -hmm. Um I wanna say they even interviewed Wozniak, like his, you know, and he always took the back seat, right? Mm -hmm. But genius. So like it made it okay in that context. you know, in the in the eighties and the nineties and you know, growing right. up and things like that. But like that shit wouldn't fly because social media, because people would talk, right. because yeah. Glassdoor, yep. salary.com. Oh that would com. never fly. Today no. People are going to record it, show it to the world. Yeah. You know, I don't want to go down a rabbit hole, but he also developed a pretty bad disease, which, you know, this is a whole other episode, but. Oh, I think, caused, I think, caused by. No, his, I just think. His own prolonged, stress, karma, that kind of. Prolonged, low vibrational energy. Mm. Bad things happen. We should get somebody on the podcast that's uh, in that world. I'm telling you, to man. To talk about, like, that. Yeah. That I've, would be interesting. When you vibrate a low level, you're begging for you bad shit to happen. You know who talking about vibrations? Tell me. David Meltzer. Oh, yeah. He's always. Oh, my God, dude. His equal. Or what's he? Yeah, yeah. I thought he, you were going somewhere no, else. No, no, no. We should get him. No. Not that kind of podcast, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he always ta he's always talking about, like, you're, you're vibrating at a certain level. Oh, yeah, dude. This is very, I want a whole two episodes dedicated to, to vibrational Vibration. energy. Mm. Huge. But anyway, that's a big part of this conversation, which we can have another time. But yeah. But who uh, you are. So yeah, who you are. Like, so the, the bad parts of Steve Jobs probably wouldn't fly in today's world. No, he'd be like toast. You, you need to, another example, I read this. Don't know if it's true, but he said it. Jeff Bezos said he's gone to therapy to work on himself being a leader because he was much more on the Steve Jobs side of things. At the beginning? At the beginning, mm. where he would like, you're not doing it my way. You Like, you, how come you can't see it this way? And like blow up on right. people. And he actually went to try to fix that mm -hmm. um, because he saw, obviously, that it wasn't affecting people well. Yeah. So from a leadership position, you know, you have to have a good personal brand you have to have humility. You have to have this stuff or you're going to start sacrifice. You can still be successful. You yeah. can still make a shitload of money. You have to be But you're going to start sacrificing a lot if you're an asshole. Yeah, you really have to be an empath. You have to really have a, a be tuned in, tapped on, turned on, whatever they say, to everything. Yeah. Because... And it, well, and it's constant. You have to always be working on it. It's not oh, something yeah. that, you know... You can't just like work on it this month or this year and then, uh, right? You know, you constantly have to be because you're always surrounding yourself with new people, different yeah. people, and those people are raising their game. And as they yeah. raise their game, you've got to raise your game. Yeah, and it's not, um, and like you know, like you're saying, it's it's always on that that switch that parameter is yeah. parameter. Is that even a word? Barometer. 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 Upstate New York accent. Parameter. 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 Yeah. Eh. Whiny upstater. Anyway, um, yeah, it's always on. And I know people here that have very, and obviously I won't mention any names, but they have extremely uh, successful businesses and brands and things. But in their personal life, which, you know, we live in a small town here, right? Yeah. Like, you can't get away with much here. And if you're publicly doing wrong things. Mm hmm they have a terrible reputation. Terrible. Mm -hmm. And it's like... In their personal life? In their personal life. Mm -hmm. And it's it's mind-blowing to me that their business is still booming because of 
what the, you know, like, despite what the community knows about this person and the different reputations. And I'm, I'll, I'll say it's in the, it's in the dating spectrum, like their personal life and terrible. I mean, really, really but bad. But probably the majority of people don't know that well, are right. doing the business fact, the, with them. The fact that I know skews me. Yeah. But that is going to catch up at some right. point. And, oh, my gosh, it's like. There's going to be overlap at some point. At time, some point. It could be 20 years down over. the road from now. Yeah. That is going to catch up. And if you don't watch your every single action from your outings, if you go out on a weekend, like, and you have a personal brand or, or just in general, like, Please watch what you do, what you say. Yeah. Everything. Look, how, how you do anything is typically how you do everything. Mm-hmm. At some point in time, you're, you're going to have, there's just, there's going to be an issue. Oh, God. It just, you, unbelievable. you know, it's like, so when you have a personal brand, you know, you've got to be, you, you, you're now underneath a, a microscope, magnifying glass, call it whatever you want. Like, you can't come out about one thing and have this personal brand online or in person, either way, mm-hmm. and then you know go off and be a tool about something else. On like you can't rant about your politics on on today, and then you're back to you just can't do that. You've got to look. Your beliefs are it's your beliefs, come get you. but you've got to stay neutral and choose what you decide to yeah. to put out there for everybody to see. Yes. You, it, that like I agree with you for uh, somebody of stature, mm-hmm. right, or something like that. Like yeah. as you become bigger, mm-hmm. it becomes obviously you have to be careful what you say because we're a society of headline readers, and so you could say <clears throat> one thing get taken out of that context. is totally not who you are, and that gets taken out of context, and then Boom. you got to hire your publicist and you know reputation management and things like that. Like that's a big business for CEOs yeah. and politicians and. And companies reputation management yeah um, uh, basically getting into like suppressing headlines you know on Google so so like they'll go in and like, right. suppress headlines right. but for the everyday person like I think you should be I think you should live by what you said how you say anything is how you say everything mm-hmm. right like if you're not in the public eye you should live your truth almost all the time as long as it's not like bad or negative. But like, you know, if you're talking politics with somebody and like you're, you know, you have a view that like you want to, you know, portray or you want to be honest about, like have an educational discussion about it, mm-hmm. right? Don't go off the rails and get right. pissed. Respect. But like be honest about that versus like, you know, just going along conceding, with the conversation yeah. or conceding because that, that makes you feel bad. That mm-hmm. makes you feel beaten down or like, you know, I really wanted to say this. It like beats down your confidence. Right. But I really think people should work to just be honest with themselves and then be authentic to other people mm-hmm. because you can disagree on politics or or business tactics or whatever, like video game, favorite video game. You can disagree on anything and do it in a way that that person still respects you. Mm-hmm. And, right. and that will boost your personal brain yeah. even more than – just sitting in a corner, you know, yeah. staying and quiet. You, something that I do often when I, because I don't, I don't get, in, I have a lot of very strong opinions, politically or with religious things. You know, all the topics like don't ever talk politics or religion, and I don't. But that doesn't mean I don't have opinions about them. I just, you know, but what I do is when somebody is presenting something that I know is for me at least is it's way off the cliff. Like yeah. I'm like, oh, like this, this guy is nuts. Like this, this is. What I'll say is something to the effect of, I got to go to the bathroom. (laughs) You're fucking wrong. (laughs) No, I'll say something to the effect of like, oh, wow, it's interesting. And I don't necessarily, you know, share that view, but I hear you. You know, like I don't even present my side because you can tell like when you don't need to, right? Like when you don't need to say your side of it. Yeah, that's I think a, a point of evolution that you, that you should get to when you can pick and choose when you can just stay quiet and still feel good, or when you have to defend a position. Right. Or you could just measure mm-hmm. measure their parameter. Or you could measure their parameter and. Uh, Seriously though, like you could assess the situation yeah. of whether it's like okay What's to say like, yeah. well, this is why I 
like Donald Trump or this is why I am right. a Democrat Don't. or whatever this that, you know, but if they're in yeah. a super aggressive, like, oh, yeah. my God, I can't believe you, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then you decide to say your point like that might and not say, America, America, <laughs> that might not go over well. Right. Oh, yeah. So assess, yeah. assessing that situation. I will say, yes, is, is important. Like, don't just always spew out yeah. what you're thinking because that could lead to arguments and and somebody taking your personal brand in the wrong context. Yeah. So, so John, being in the, in the digital world, where, what are the top three areas where you think it's most important to have your personal brand on cue? Uh, as far as content, you mean? Just, you know, so your, your overall personal brand, so... You know, obviously, you know, digital people, when you say personal brand, I think people automatically go to your world and think of digital marketing. Yeah. So outside of digital marketing, what are some other, what are two other key areas where in business today you think that personal brand is oh. important? Like what other verticals or things that you're out in? So like networking comes to mind for me. So, what else so leadership think? is the first piece that comes to me. And I'm going through a lot of this now at Good Monsters. We're growing rapidly. We're bringing a lot of people on. Mm-hmm. You know, I try my hardest to be a good leader and it's something that I focus the majority of my time on. And I'm now getting some of that feedback back as we grow. And it like, number one, feels really good that, right. you know, that these people think this about me yep. uh, and about Lindsay, who's, who's, who's interacting more, interact, more with the yeah, team. And interacting deeply. You with guys are both monster. building a great company culture. Yeah. And... The cool thing about Good Monster is the the culture is really multicultural, all over the world, right? Yeah. So th- your team's all over the world. So you've got you're you're trying to raise your level of leadership amongst a multicultural team. Yeah. Which could mean different things depending on where your team is is at, right? So and it's more cr- of a challenge for and somebody it's like that. Crazy how honest I am with them, right? Like like there's been. There, I remember one time when payroll had to be delayed a little bit because of like tr- transferring international money. Like it goes, has to go into this sort of an escrow type account, mm-hmm. more or less. It's not actually that, but it's sort of what it is. And then that then gets dis- dispersed and the currency has to be traded. So anyways, that was late. And so like I pulled up my phone and sent a message to the entire team and just said like, listen, from the bottom of my heart, I'm, I'm very sorry if if anybody needs money today to like pay bills like if you can't wait you know three days for it to clear uh shoot me a dm like i'll figure out a way to get it to you whether it's paypal or whatever like just stuff like that is just built into me as a human being Mm -hmm. and it is now like i can't even tell you some of the messages that we get or, or that i get of people who are just like never seen this before like never had a boss like this before. Like this d- didn't even yeah. know this existed. Not only in Brazil or India or here in America. Like it's it's incredibly satisfying to see that, and it just reinforces the whole personal brand thing as not just a marketing thing anymore. It's not just like oh, what what's the personal brand that I'm putting out in videos? You True. know, and that's why I'm so passionate about these topics. Is like. Your personal brand isn't your videos. Your personal brand is just who you, you are. Yeah. yeah. You know, right? How you it's, live your life crazy. and walk it out yeah. every day, yeah. you know? So if if I if you are a high like Fortune 500 CEO or some celebrity, yes, you have to be careful and walk on eggshells because that's the nature of the job you're in. But for most people, like just be authentically you and just try to do a better job at being empathetic and good and the world will come to you. No question about it. Yeah, I think there's the the you know the, the one blunder that comes to mind is that you're 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 a certain way Monday through Friday nine to five right and you're even if you're not a, a, a Fortune five hundred so you're you're Joe Schmoe's running a local company and then on the, on the weekend somebody tags you you know you're bombed out of your mind yeah and you're just doing dumb stuff and that crap gets out on social media today like. You, you can't afford, if you're in business today, I don't care what size you're at, you can't afford to have that kind of media floating around the internet yeah. and, and ruining your reputation. So if you're going to, you know, you know, let loose some weekend and you're in Vegas, you know, be smart about it and don't, you know, don't have that crap get out on yeah. and, and social media. For the majority of people, I would say that, you know, you should walk a pretty 
pretty fine line. You know, really watch your actions, watch how you treat people. But then there's examples, and this is this is a, I don't know, this is an interesting example. But like guys like Dave Portnoy, right? Barstool Sports. No filter. No filter. Prides himself on like fuckery. Prides himself on like <laughs> getting. No, I'm serious. Like yeah. getting, you know, drunk, doing whatever he wants getting high, whatever it is, and, you know, everybody can do their own thing. But like that sort of works for his personal brand because he's so married to his personal brand mm -hmm. and it works. But he's like that all the time, he, right? Right. He's like that all the time. You could take him off camera and he would still be like. Right. So that's my point that's there. That's the point you're it's trying like, to make. Be unapologetically yourself. Again, I'm not saying it's easy. I don't even do it. Like. Right. Like he's a he is a, he, a a diamond in the rough when it comes to like unauthentically yourself, just like Gary Vaynerchuk is. Mm -hmm. I think right? you do it. I think you're. I think we all do it. I think I don't think there's any difference between us on camera and us off camera. No, you're right. Uh, yeah, I I guess so. They're the extreme versions. They're Let the me extreme just say versions that. of like, that. Yeah. Like they're they're extreme personalities. I still wouldn't suggest that, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it works for some. Yeah, it, it works for him. Like I can also think of other people who, I I don't know, but like Dan Bilzerian, Tucker Max. Do you remember that dude wrote a book on like partying basically? And oh yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And then now he's got a podcast. Of, yeah, yeah. And, um, so there's definitely people out there that have built up big personal brands on their personal sort of like chaos. Right, yeah. Dan Belzari, that's Bilzerian. a that's a good one. Yeah. So it's that th those characters are like love them or hate them. Right. Right. Polarizing, which is but why they don't they, care. That's why they grew. But the whole point is, yeah, they're unapologetically mm -hmm. themselves. And that, there's like something that's deeply. They're also not winning over the world. They're liberating. winning a small sector of the world that loves that shit. Yeah. There's something deeply liberating about just like being yourself in all instances. Oh yeah. It's 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 uh, freedom just to Yeah. Again, if you're a terrible person, it's not going to work out well for you. Most likely. But if that's right. what you I mean are, you like, might get PR and publicity and whatever and but people aren't going to like you. Yeah. <laughs> uh but yeah, for the majority of people out there that are that are figuring out how to become successful yeah. and uh you know from a content perspective or a sales perspective or a business development perspective, I mean, you've got it down to a science, man. Like just treat people great and yeah. give, give, give. Yeah. <laughs> give, give, yeah. give. Well, then, no, then but it becomes, just be, be a good person. Yeah. <clears throat> and we're, we're in a hybrid universe right now. Right. So, you know, doing that is so you've got to become super creative Everybody jumped on the podcast bandwagon, it seems like, when, when COVID hit, right? Yeah. And so then video, and then now we're, some want to be back in person, some don't. And mm -hmm. how do you continue to build your personal brand yeah. through this, this hybrid era that we're in? Right. Um, you know, so for me, there's three things that, that I try to do regardless of, and, and it works both ways, whether you're doing something over film like this or whether you're in person, and it is... How do I get in front of the most people for the least amount of money in the shortest period of time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So that means either we're there, we're some sort of networking group, whether it's ten people or we're at a cap. I just put a survey out for one of my groups. Like, who's okay with meeting with up to fifty people as long as all the health parameters are in place? Mm -hmm. Or how many want to meet with ten? Or you know, let's do a Zoom and let's just we'll build an audience and max that out. You know, and you've got to figure out, but again, your, your authenticity, everything we've set up until this point, <clears throat> regardless of how you're handling that, you just carry that through, you know, all of those things. I think one, one thing that people, and this is sometimes not controllable, uh, but one thing people, what happens is that they let those bad days, they let the stress, they let those things like creep in and like pull them away from maybe what their normal personal brand is. Yeah. And so that's, you know, that's one thing that's very challenging yeah. uh, is, is to, you know, what do you do? What is, what does that mean to your personal brand? Do you suppress that? Do you try to find other outlets for that? You know, what's, yeah. what's the healthy way to do that? And we see this with celebrities all the time. 
like celebrities go probably go through this the most is that they're constantly on they're berated by paparazzi and people invading their personal life and privacy mm-hmm. and families yeah and you know guys like alec baldwin who like i've met he's a nice guy he'll punch you in the face though if you're a paparazzi <laughs> like on a bad day he's gonna knock you out yeah and you know rightfully so but you know Although I, I would agree with him, if I was you know in that position, I'm pretty sure you'd be a face puncher. I would def I would I would do the throat move where they're like, Ugh. no, <laughs> <laughs> that's way more powerful. What? Yeah, <laughs> done. Goodbye. But uh, it's tough. But I would go with, you know, he's taking a lot of shit for it too. I would say you got to find ways to know that like. When the trigger hits, when you know, like, I'm going to lose my personal brand right now, I'm going to go off the handle. Yeah. You need to have a protocol in place that you can say, like, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, I have to put in the protocol because this could change the whole course of everything. Right. You know, The Rock. If The Rock has an off day, which I'm sure he's had, and and, like, harms the wrong person... It will bring down his empire in a second. Yeah. Like if he harms the wrong person, right? Some little kid that whatever. Yeah. And he like screws that that interaction up. Boom. Yeah. All the work he put Goes in is like. Goes back to the headline reading. Something like that gets out there and yeah. people will just now label He's, that's what, that's oh, what he is. He's yep. an asshole. That's well, what he he's is. not an asshole. His dad just died. Right? Actually, you know what? There are lists out there. I don't even know how I whatever the interweb sucked me in but there's there's like lists of like the worst bosses or the worst celebrities oh yeah and you got you know christian bale is up there because of right. that one Who thing they won't that work happened with or something uh no like he, he he i mean he flipped out he flipped out on somebody who's who had the boom they were the boom I've operator been, and it like came that. too low in the shot went Bonkers, ape shit, screaming, like terrified me through the screen. I'm like, Batman. Uh, and <laughs> I'm Batman. and uh, he is now labeled as like the yeah. worst celebrity ever. Like, and maybe he is, I don't know. Who knows? But they always reference just that one right. thing. You can't. He could be a, his yeah. dad could have just died. Like, I, know. I don't know. He just had a bad day. Yeah. And he could be the nicest, like most gracious celebrity, but like nobody will ever know that now. Because of that one thing, right? So, I don't know, we're we're not all celebrities here. No, we're not. Awesome. But that kind of that kind of advice, I think, is important for everybody, right? Like, yeah. if you're having a bad day, you know, particularly leaders, because people look up to you, celebrities, people look up to you, influencers, people look up. To, like, if you're yeah. in that position, you have to be more careful. Be honest with who you are. Mm-hmm. Be authentic. But be kind at the same time. Absolutely. Right? And if you're not going to be and if kind, somebody's figure crossing, out a way to deal with it. Yeah. If somebody's crossing the line, which people cross lines all the time, or push your buttons, you can say whatever you need to say to create a space for you to not flip out. You can say, listen, I, I need to like, I'll get back to you. I'll take, you know, I need to take a minute here. Or like, let me think about, do anything you can do to not cross the line and go into that negative place or low, low vibration. Mm. Yeah. Um, because... You are protecting something that is so invaluable, which is your personal brand. That is, that is protect that with your life. Mm. And if you can't, uh, apologize for right. it. Like be real. Own it. Own it. Yep. Right. Say, That's the next best thing. Quick, That's the next quick best to apologize. Thing. Yep. Yep. Admit your shortcomings and your faults, and uh, and just say try I'm, to I'm be a, better. A human, a flawed human, like the rest of us, and I. Truly, I'm sorry. You will earn back at least some of the oh, respect. If and, not and, all. and the majority of it, right? Yeah. And quick, that's even now if you're not a leader, if you're working for somebody or you're working in a team of 10 people and they're all relying on you to right. get this document done or whatever. Yeah, right. And you don't do it. And then they're all pissed at you. Like the worst thing you can do is be like, oh, it wasn't my fault. Right. Blame game. Yeah. Weather, weather yeah. is bad. Yeah. Excuses, blame. But if you're just like, listen, like I had a really hard time with it or I had a hard weekend or this, like no yeah, excuses. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I don't know, like whatever happened, I got yeah. shit faced this weekend. It was the worst decision of my life. I wish I did not do it. I had a hangover for four days. Yeah. Uh, you guys relied on me. I did not pull through. Here's what I'm gonna do to try yeah. to fix it. Like it's extremely hard to do, but. Genuine humility is the medicine. Yeah. It's the it's the cure for, you know, the, uh, the bad, 
the bad symptom, bad moment that you yeah. had. Now, if you do it again, like that's a that's now, now, now your personal brand, right? Yeah. Now, now Shame well, on you. you're you know a pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But like you know, well said, Ill. Well said. Yeah. The that apology will only go so far. The apology, only a certain yeah. number of times. The real yeah, usually one. What do they say? Like the real apology is a change of behavior. Says that deep thoughts. People, by all people. Deepak a meme. Meme sounds like memes. Memes said it. Memes. Me- uh, memes on the internet have said everything to this point. I don't know. I, if... I, I would be lost without memes. Yeah, Do actually, modern day bumper sticker. Uh, true. That is true. Uh, that and gifts. Good monsters communication. I don't think would exist without the use of gifts. Like mm. I swear we have full-on conversations. That's it. <laughs> like because because you can go into Giphy now. Oh yeah, and you can type in a like full almost full oh, sentence. Yep, and a yeah. GIF or a meme Barrage will pop up of, yeah. where it's actually that entire sentence. I know, it's well, the best thing ever, and it makes me laugh. So that's always good. So yeah. here's to that. Protect your damn personal brand with your life. Yeah, be authentic, be kind. I mean, it's such be a simple sense. concept, hard mm. to do, especially when you're having a bad day. But I mean. That's it. All right, everyone. Good conversation, fellas. Right? It was a great conversation. Good conversation. Yeah. Thanks yeah. again. Yes. As I'm always. So grateful for the studio. Yes. Syracuse Studios. Syracuse. Uh, Syracuse. Syracuse. Syracuse.com for Syracuse's newest co-working space full of creativity, community, and comfort. Syracuse.com. Bang. As always, we are super appreciative for everyone out there watching or listening to the three idiots talk about awesome business stuff and ridiculous other stuff. Uh, Don't forget, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m., we hit all the interwebs, all the coolest ones, like Facebook and IGTV and Spotify and Apple. So wherever you love to consume your content, go subscribe and check us out. Cheers to life and business. May we all prosper in both. I'm empty too.